Uh, pro we continue our working day now. We are going to speak about wonderful media project, Ukraine. And uh, participants of this project will tell us about police trip that is being planned. I give the floor to Bogdan Lagvinenko, founder of the project, Sergei Kranvayne, photographer, and Pavlo Pashko, video uh, photographer, and Taras Kavalchuk, photographer of the Ukraine. Welcome on stage, dear colleagues. Pasha, welcome on stage. Good afternoon, everyone. We are Ukrainian project. First, maybe we will watch video, then we will tell you about our project. That is Priazovia region. The strip ended in September. Now we're going to the fourth trip. We had three Poltavshina, Zakarpatia and Priazovia trips, and now we will have a fourth trip to Polisia. We focus on histories and stories that media do not present about common people, stories about small victories, small cultural events that are held in the regions and do not enter the mainstream media. Now we are going to v watch the video and then we will tell you about our project. Priazovia. Thank you for watching. Now we are going to tell you about our work in the project and what we want to see in Polisia. Taras is given the floor. Good afternoon, everyone. For me, this Polisia region is really close because I am from that region and uh, my family hails from there. As you saw from this video, Ukraine is picturesque. 
sometimes we do not know about it. And then Policia, we will shoot a video and we will present it to you. These are three main lakes. As And it is interesting how people live there and uh, this life of uh, residents of these regions in these picturesque areas, their lifestyle is interesting f uh, for us. And uh, we will go to such places that are along picturesque rivers, Slucha River. And uh, these uh, regions are called Ukrainian Switzerland. And uh, I believe that the viewer will be lucky to see it. So why I joined Ukraine project? Because I want to meet those people, those Ukrainians who create their own history in their regions. And uh, sometimes when you come to some remote village, you find out that an elderly person collects uh, some interesting artifacts and create their own museum or some family created some business. And uh, you understand that changes and processes start there. And I am inspired by this. And when I go home, I'm, for example, want to make cheese or to know more about the history that is in different regions of Ukraine. Do you bring some videos or, for example, maybe some cheese or amber, something right from our trips? We bring different things, but uh, we ha our car is loaded with equipment. We do not have much space for other things. So my colleague is going to continue about what his expectations of this trip. So I'm a journalist, and now I create 360 degrees videos and uh, virtual reality and uh, and we will go to Felicia and uh, also to Chernobyl, and uh, uh, we will also shoot this uh, 360 degrees video. And in this uh, expedition, we'll have from uh, 51. This is Polish company that develop uh, video games. And we will shoot the station and the zone and Pripyat town. Those people who didn't flee Chernobyl zone and we will create this video in uh, this format. And this is the opportunity for those people who never visited the exclusion zone. This is opportunity for them to see it. You can uh, put on a Google helmet and you will be like in Chernobyl. And it is interesting why I joined this project. First, I wanted to become an economist, then I became a journalist. And uh, this is the opportunity to travel, to tell people interesting stories. And it happens so that only we can tell people about these stories. We travel to remote areas where other media people do not travel usually. And this is inspiring.
вкладали. Even when uh, at the Google Map uh, our route was mapped, uh, we could not uh, do some precise uh, uh, route because uh, they are not marked on the uh, Google Map. Uh, we know that these villages, they are uh, uh, available in Ukraine, they are in Ukraine, but uh, there are no roads on the map between these villages. Now I'm giving the floor to Pavlo. I'm a documentary maker, and in Ukraine a project, it is interesting for me uh, to shoot uh, real life as a, a documentary maker. Uh, we uh, video record life as it is. We do not have some uh, scenes uh, uh, in police. Uh, we will be shooting, we will be filming a very vi interesting village uh, where just 20 uh, elderly persons live and uh, the only way to get uh, this village is by boat. So people are living in a quite isolated fashion there. Uh, we met such people uh, in our other expedition trips, so uh, we are interested to know about the places uh, to f shoot uh, uh, videos about the places where um, journalists uh, uh, do not come. People are real uh, there. Uh, they are sincere. This is Ukraine which remains uh, alive uh, and it will remain for a long time and it is of interest uh, uh, for not only for Ukrainians uh, but also for Europeans. All our materials uh, are translated into four languages, videos uh, are translated into seven or eight languages. Uh, uh, Georgian subtitles uh, were uh, issued uh, just uh, recently. Our volunteers uh, do uh, translations. Uh, they offer to make subtitles. Uh, uh, for example, a letter from Georgia was uh, very sincere that the person just want to share with uh, friends uh, his videos, uh, but uh, he can't because all of them are in Ukrainian, so it was a long message with uh, even some grammar mistakes. Uh, uh, it, it was visible that a person is Georgian, not knowing Ukrainian in, well, and uh, uh, the person expressed uh, his uh, uh, feelings upon uh, watching our video. Within one week, uh, this one person translated all our videos and provided subtitles in Georgian and wants uh, to translate text for our website. We have four languages at our website, Russian, English, Polish. Uh, uh, the, uh, this is uh, telling briefly about uh, our activities. Now uh, we offer you to ask questions. Seven languages. What languages they are? Uh, Italian and French uh, and Georgian now. Besides uh, the four which I mentioned, so you bring from your expedition trips uh, with you videos, photographs, uh, and stories, written stories. Yes, and we also want uh, to record 360-degree de videos. Uh, 
uh, virtual reality videos. Uh, so we would like to offer the views of uh, these uh, sightseeing uh, where we uh, go uh, with in this new format. How do you choose the places where to go? This is very complicated thing when we have uh, shortlisted places, for example, in Polizia we have around 100 places and it is uh, difficult for us uh, to shortlist 30 out of 100 now. We meet and we try to agree to choose uh, 30 out of 100 places according to the recommendations. Uh, we publish a map one week before the expedition trip sometimes uh, and even very often uh, there is some mess uh, because we uh, use uh, the old administrative division. Uh, we base on uh, historic maps and our trip will be to Polisia but also to Volin region this time in the north of Volin region uh, people uh, uh, name their areas both as Valin region and Polisia. Historically, uh, this territory refers to Polisia. Uh, we post on the website the map of which region, of every region. Uh, we have special form on our website where people can uh, provide recommendations, uh, fill in this form. Then we conduct uh, uh, searches along the map or uh, using your um, links, uh, your friends. Uh, most often, those uh, who we sh shoot, uh, those persons who we video, uh, they are not available in Google. Their contacts are not available there. Sometimes we for forget uh, to record details, then we should communicate and we go uh, uh, to some villages where there is just one telephone available for the whole village. So we have such uh, production obstacles. Uh, uh, now questions, please. Olga Chitaila, uh, 24th channel. How long have uh, your preparations uh, uh, to take. Uh, we have been preparing for a month. Uh, we have uh, four, uh, loca 40 locations uh, which we would shoot as a promo video for the region. This is what some uh, administrative authorities, uh, their tourist departments uh, should have been doing, but they fail to do such activities. So we video such promo videos. Uh, we spend little time uh, at every location. Our uh, characters uh, uh, we have less than 30. All of them uh, know that uh, you will visit them. Yes, uh, they know. We contacted them and we have a very strict uh, schedule. Uh, uh, everything is scheduled uh, uh, by on hourly basis. This is Ukraine, so our plans change always. And we also like when additional stories arise uh, during the trip. Sometimes they are more interesting uh, than the ones which we planned. Ksusha uh, Pedumna Express channel. How do you uh, fund your activities? Uh, they are partners who donate. Uh, we have three partners, Kia, and Rover and Oco companies, and we have technical partners, Yudinka Digital, uh, 
funds ka Ukraine financing uh, is provided by commercial partners. Uh, there is a opportunity of donation project, but uh, our cooperation has not uh, been uh, very intensive. Just several people donated to us via this uh, uh, option. You can call on people just now to support you and make contributions. Yemets Maria UCMC, quite a weird question. The geography of your expedition trip uh, is five regions of what uh, regions will you cover? Maybe the accent will be more on Volin and Chernigiv region. Uh, Siversina will be covered more or um, Eastern police uh, area. Our expedition trees is from Chernobyl to Shatsky Lakes. Uh, this is the geography of our trip this time. Uh, guys, uh, you told uh, uh, that you will shoot a promo video. Uh, maybe some regional administration uh, contacted you uh, with the, uh, the request uh, to you this promo videos uh, in the activities. Do you think they have uh, internet resources? Uh, we contacted uh, regional authorities in the Carpathia region. They assisted us uh, a little bit uh, with uh, consultations. They recommended us where to go, but uh, we have never had uh, productive cooperation, effective efficient cooperation with the uh, executive authorities. And you saw uh, the video of Priazovia. The uh, Priazovia uh, falls into four regions, and uh, it is quite hard to understand which of the four regions administration should uh, support uh, the video, because uh, regional administrations, uh, they use uh, vi uh, videos, promo videos uh, um, linked to some city or some region separately. We are very much inspired by some stories uh, that happen often. There are f few pieces of news in periphery, sometimes local uh, printed media sources and other local media sources, they focus on us very much and then uh, pieces of news uh, 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 say that the new photos uh, have been posted by uh, uh, Ukraine project, uh, we like this very much. This inspires us because this way we can communicate to local citizens. Uh, our idea, one of our main ideas is to disseminate information. Uh, we traveled around the Carpathia region and then we moved to Priazovia while uh, traveling around uh, the Carpathia region. Uh, we collected many contacts, many people subscribed uh, to our website, and now uh, this is the network. People networked, uh, they became close to each other, some friendly relations uh, established. Uh, there are some stories uh, such as in the Carpathia region when we uh, shot uh, uh, um, narrow uh, railway and people um, contacted uh, us uh, and said that this railway uh, 
track is very important for local people. In Melitopol, uh, we were condemned for uh, uh, demonstrating not uh, the right uh, since some Greek Catholic priest. Uh, we shot him. Uh, we, um, made a video pl uh, plot about him and uh, an uh, elderly vi woman. Uh, while Milletopol uh, residents, uh, they got used to more ordinary stories. Uh, these two stories uh, uh, seem to them um, not about them. Uh, those stories seem to them uh, quite uh, different from what is happening in Melitopol. Usually in Melitopol, uh, journalists uh, cover um, uh, the information, that, for example, like Singer Vysotsky, who visited Melitopol very long ago. Uh, we just take some um, points, some moments of real life, but not uh, history, not historic uh, plots. Uh, as one, once we were brought to some location uh, where we saw that there is just uh, a valley, and the person said that in 19th century there was a castle on this place. Uh, we tried to filter such, filter out uh, such uh, stories. We do not have uh, time. We tell people, okay, what is happening here now, but not in the 19th century. And now we will uh, erect here an information plate. Uh, this is a very good project. Uh, if we have um, more, uh, people uh, just uh, uh, who, who are interested in history. Yes, uh, but this is not our format. Hi hypothetically, if you are telephoned and uh, a person says, uh, I know from our experience in UCMC videos materials for foreigners are not uh, uh, s s in, we do not have enough materials for foreigners. Uh, do you uh, give uh, permits to use your videos? Uh, administrations of regions, some just district uh, authority, they posted uh, our videos, we provided them. This is okay with us. Uh, if uh, someone take our videos and uh, refer to us as a source, uh, this is no problem with us. <clears throat> and there is a sense uh, uh, to remind you that we have uh, uh, music tracks. Uh, uh, we provide not only visual content but also musical content uh, and this is uh, this is subject to intellectual property law. So to make a video we use uh, we asked all uh, Wayland Ukrainian uh, bands uh, to give the permit to use their songs, uh, to use their tracks. Uh, we uh, fa saw that there would not be enough Ukrainian music from which to choose, but now we have more than 100 tracks uh, uh, proposed to us for use by Ukrainian uh, 
music bands or singers. We are very glad if some photos from our expedition trip will be covered in media, mass media sources. We negoc are negotiating uh, uh, how to demonstrate these videos uh, uh, at the time when we will be traveling. Maybe you should negotiate with the railway company of Ukraine. Uh, talking about commercial use, uh, uh, some terms are applicable because we have these uh, musical tracks uh, which we have mentioned. Talking about promotion, uh, we are for uh, this. Uh, we have been uh, to Beijing, we visited Beijing where we demonstrated Ukrainian photographs and videos. Uh, this is not all the team who depart. Uh, we will be eight. Sergei will go for one period of the expedition. Taras will uh, go for the other stage of the expedition. Different people will take part in different stages of the expedition. A Polish uh, uh, cameraman and uh, will join us uh, and the Belarusian uh, cameraman will join us because uh, police also um, is a territory of Poland and Be Belarus. Uh, uh, we tell about the locations which we visit and we want to join Polish, Belarusian and Ukrainian stories. Uh, about police. Uh, we don't know what uh, the result will be. If you visit, for example, Lviv region, there is a village, Galarechna, you know they produce ceramics. Uh, uh, the entire village was engaged previously, but now only two or three persons uh, uh, remain. Uh, well, you can fill our questionnaire and recommend us to visit this location. Our next pre press briefing will be in three minutes. Thank you.